Hey guys, I am back! I really hope this is working. It's my third time starting up this video and my memory card just does not want to work, so I've changed it now. I have not filmed a single thing since December. I look so pale in camera. I am actually quite tan. You can't tell because I'm always pale. Uh, well, it is uh, winter outside, it's white, it's kind of light, and it's kind of sort of bad uh, weather, kind of gray, uh, which usually means great lighting because I don't need to use a lamp that destroys the camera lighting but makes me see my face. And I can also uh, talk to you. Today I just came home from my parents' house. Uh, I actually literally came home. I don't know if you can see my my bag over there probably not the the little blue thing right there i just came inside sat down fixed my camera got a bunch of makeup and sat down i am gonna just do a talk through makeup thing like i just want to talk to you basically and i don't i don't really know what i want to talk about i just want to go through the days and christmas and everything and then just do my makeup at the same time and then i can go through whatever I'm talking about or whatever I'm doing. I was going to film a January favorites, but I think it's 22nd of December today or something. 22nd or 23rd, I don't know exactly. Uh, and I felt like that was a bit too early, so I'm gonna wait until like next week or something until I do my January favorites in case I get something new that I like. Change that a little. My gr my eyes look extremely green today. Fun. I like green eyes. My school is done for the first semester, so now I have it. It was actually done uh, last Friday, but I had some old stuff to do, so that's why I went home and did that. And now I'm back here, and I have nothing to do for three days straight, so tell me if there's anything you want me to film and I will do it now. Uh, woo, okay, let's start uh, by putting my hair up. I just realized that I have not brushed my hair today, but it feels flawless anyway, so let's just go with the flow and, oh, that bun though. Yes. I just put a bunch of stuff on my table and I'm just gonna use a random random amount of products random amount of products and I will start with my Nivea Express hydration primer which is this one which I love it's my holy grail it's like drugstore you can probably actually get it at a drugstore here in Sweden when people say oh it's a drugstore I'm like you buy your makeup at a drugstore? I never buy my makeup at a drugstore. Maybe a grocery store or at like H&M. That's not H&M's own products or whatever. Uh, this I did buy at like a grocery kind of store. I love this primer though. It's great for my skin. I am very... I did not moisturize my face today, but it feels pretty good. I did moisturize a lot yesterday, so usually it works out well. I love this primer because I am really thin and it gives like this hydrating, hydrating uh, feel to my skin. I am also very dehydrated, so this is great. I just use it everywhere and my face doesn't react weirdly to it. Some primers, my face turns red, like I cannot use them. Uh, my face is not that red right now. It looks <laughs> it looks red. Usually it looks really red in this screen, but when I put it on my computer, it usually does not look as much later. I was going to tell you this. I tried the Benefit Pore Professional uh, the other day, and I had to redo my makeup like three times. Uh, once because I had the completely wrong shade of foundation. That might happen today, actually. And I used this, which made it all, like my face looked so flaky. It looked disgusting. So for you who have, and I also don't really have pores. So this doesn't make se any sense for me to use. So I'm giving it away to someone who has pores and oily skin because I don't. 
I am, I don't know what foundation shade I am in. I'm gonna use the Max Factor Face Finity All Day Flawless 3 in 1 foundation, which I love. This is number 60, Sand 60. Third card, third memory card, and now I hope this is working because it all stopped on me. If not, I have to go to my bag and pack up my computer which I really don't feel like doing right now. Foundations always look so white on me at this point, which is weird. This foundation is so covering. I love it. I do really love it. This is like the first ever foundation that I bought myself as well. Not this one, but like the first time I bought this kind. I've recently only used a beauty blender while applying foundation and I look so pale in camera. Just wait for it. We're gonna put some bronzer on because I don't feel comfortable in this shit. I don't look this pale in real life. I swear to God. This foundation was a bit too pale for me. There you go, the panda ass all gone. Is it any lines? I feel like there is a tad of a line, but whatever, we'll fix that later. Then we'll go on with concealer, and obviously I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin because it's my favorite ever. Uh, it sucks that it's so expensive, but like all the beauty gurus use it, and uh, I had to try it, and I tried it, and one part of me really regrets trying it, and one part of me wouldn't change it for the whole world. It is so good, but you I mean, if if I wouldn't have tried it, I wouldn't know that it is so good. So, joke's on you. I do have the lightest shade of this concealer, which is a bit too light when I am a bit tan. Let's set the under eye. Ooh, I look so white. Uh, I like to go in with these two to start with and then I take this one. Let's go over and do my face. Let's go back to the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, shall we? And I'm gonna use an angle brush. I have this one from Yves Rocher, and I did buy this one uh, from the, mm, the $1 store that I can't remember the name of. And it is completely broken, like you can see here. And it's so dense that it makes the harshest line ever, and it's really hard to blend out. I'm just gonna go in with this middle. I actually don't know uh, which palette th this is. I'm guessing it's the light one, which would make sense. I don't know the names of them. I'm not gonna try to figure out the names of them. One thing I hate is when people do the contour and they stay, so there's like a spot up here that's left, so you can completely see how that it's makeup. I don't like that. I think when you're doing your makeup, which is kind of weird that you want to look natural. I have a video planned for this, but for this subject. Some people like to do this little bow under here, which I naturally got, just exaggerating it a little. It's kind of hard with this big of a brush, but...
It looks so weird in camera because this looks so... I look so pale in camera, so this looks so ashy. In real life, you can't tell this so hard. I like to do the contour right here because we na I at least have a natural in dent or whatever you want to call it and I like to exaggerate that dent because it makes my cheekbones look uh, higher so that's why I do that and then sometimes I want to contour away that little double chin that I have and I like to just use the rest of the contour that's on the brush and do this um, because I don't want it to be a line I just want it to be a natural shadow. I'm gonna go in with a bronzer. I don't know if I want to use a bronzer in this or if I'm gonna use my normal bronzer. I'm just laying everything everywhere. Okay, so I just deleted the video from my camera that made it impossible for me to film. Uh, that is, that was the my new year's look but I didn't like the look too much I don't want to put it on YouTube what I was saying is I don't like using this on YouTube because it's not available to get because I got it out of a magazine but it is the most amazing bronzer I have ever used in my life so screw you And it's so goddamn blendable. I look crazy on camera. Whew. Let's put some up here. I am the kind of person that gets really tan up here. So that's just naturally for me because my forehead is so big that this is like the part that gets really tan and then I don't get tan here. Uh, some people do put, um, I look like I'm having a cream contour on. I look on, I look ridiculous. Let's put that bronzer a bit higher so I don't look so scary. And then take the rest of this brush as well. To hide that double chin that I don't like. Come on, I'm a bit more bronzier than that. Yeah. I like to go a bit like this. This is how I usually get away. Um, if you're having a uh, foundation that's too dark, I go with a bronzer like back here so that I can work it out and then I'm using like I said the contour under here and then you can always like work it out with the bronzer to get down here I look Ooh, ooh, oh my gosh. These are so beautiful. Which one should I use? I'm feeling like this one or this one. This one. I know that these are very pigmented, so I'm just gonna dab and wipe it all off and then. I'm literally smacking it on my chin. We just want that natural glow. Just make us look like we're a bit in love, you know? Like we're going on our first date ever. I like to put a bit of blush up here. I feel like it's natural to put a bit of blush up here. I don't know. Sometimes I go over my chin as well. Just squeeze that in there. I need my my uh, lippy thingy. Where are you, my little lippy thingy? There you are. Mm -mm. 
This is the uh, best thing ever. I love this. Because my lips, as usual, as everything else about me, is super duper dry. So I have to moisturize my lips. And this is MAC Prep and Prime little lippy thingy. I love it. I just love it. It works so good for me. It makes the lipstick feel soft and good and doesn't flake as easily and it lasts forever. It's just amazing. Should I pluck my eyebrows on camera? Is that, is that weird? Maybe I don't have to do it. Maybe I don't have to do it. Let's just do my eyebrows. Let's use this little brush. I think I usually do my eyebrows before I contour my face because it just feels good to... I'm just going to use a light brown today actually because I don't want that much. I don't spend a whole lot of money on eyebrow products because I already have really thick brows. I can go with a cheap product just to fill in the holes. It's not that I have to create any brows. I already like the shape of my brows. It's just that I need them a little bit more filled in sometimes because I like how it makes your face look. It is, I, I do need a bit more cool toned brown in my eyebrows though. I think I'm gonna try with a <laughs> I can't talk when I'm doing this. Try with a just normal um, Eye lip color? Eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. I like to set it with this thingy so they don't move because when my eyebrows move they look like a mess. Highlighter! I have this beautiful highlighter pack that I bought in Lanzarote. It's from Makeup Revolution London. It's a good, uh, it was a good store. It was a legit store. It wasn't like on a market. So I know it's good and it has these, oh three beautiful it's like one white or cream and then one pink and then one more purple i like to mix the white and white and uh, pink and i do it with my hand because i realize with my fan brush it does not work it's gonna go up with a bit of highlighter up here because that gives a really natural glow. Because that is where the light goes. Some people always say the light goes here. The reason why we fill in this white part is not because the light hits there. At least not for me because my eyebrows are so thick and my forehead is so big. The light doesn't hit there. But even if I tan, I am constantly really white over here just because the sun does not hit there. Uh, and that's why I get really light here. But I'm gonna put some highlighter here anyway because, you know, work those brows. It's like 2 a.m. right now, and I just felt like doing my makeup now instead of later. 2 a.m., 2 p.m. Oh, and it's not even that. It's just a quarter past 12. Well, I thought this was way too late to do. And none of my brushes are clean, so we'll see how this works out, because it's probably not going to end up looking the way I want it to. I'm sure. I'm going to start putting this one on the inner half of my lid with this apparently extremely big fluffy brush. Oh, this shadow is hard. I thought it was going to be like a bit creamy or something. It's hard. 
It's really hard. I don't mind. Girl, come on, get some color out of this shit. I'll just go over the whole lid. What the hell? Why are the doors on me? It's not, it's not a much color showing up. I'll just go with the same brush again to this next, this next color. And do you want it? Do you want me to zoom in for this bit? Is this hello? Oh my eyebrows. This good. Why am I not getting any co Come on, Elf. I had hopes for you. I can't handle these shadows. Those annoy me so much. I'm just gonna go over to this one instead. Which is also extremely hard. Increase. Work with me. Oh, this became such a mess. Ooh, I like the little flick though. You know, when you have shadows that just don't want to work with you, it's really hard to make a, a good makeup look. I'm just gonna use this and then blend it all. Don't feel like doing that anymore. I don't. I don't like this look anymore. I don't like it. <laughs> Screw it. I'm done. I'm done with ice right now. Should I do eyeliner? I kind of feel like I should do eyeliner, but I realized that I suck so much at doing eyeliner that I don't really feel like doing eyeliner. I'm probably gonna do eyeliner. This is a struggle for me, okay? Don't judge. I know I'm gonna mess it all up. I know, I know. Cause I know when that how I blink, that could only mean one thing. I'm done. Never doing eyeliner ever again this year. I told myself to quit and I should have listened to myself. I think I need to take a lesson on how to put the lashes on because that is awful. That is disgustingly awful. Oh my god. I've always wanted to be a lash kind of girl. Oh my god. The lashes are officially on and it looks horrendous. It looks terrible. Uh, at least, you know, this was my first time so I'm just not gonna take them off until I'm finished with this video. I really do like these lashes though. They look really, really pretty and kind of natural actually. Uh, I just need to learn how to put them on. I'm just gonna practice this whole weekend basically because I could, <laughs> that's beautiful. Because I could definitely uh, use these I'm done. Should I take them off? Should I take them off? I did spend quite a lot of time uh, on putting them on actually. I just need to practice more I guess. I guess. Girls, this is our best friend. The mascara. And boys. If someone is willing to give me a lesson on how to put the lashes on, I would love to take it. I've watched YouTube videos, doesn't help. Oh, do it the same, but doesn't help for me. My eyelashes are quite naturally uh, curved. So it's really hard when everyone's like, oh, you just lay them on the lashes that you already have. My lashes are short. So first of all, they fall down. The lashes that, the fake lashes that I put on. Uh, 
And second of all, my lashes are really curly from the beginning without using a curler. And that also makes it harder for them to just stay on there. Totally messed up my liner, but no, I just said that I'm not gonna use liner anymore this year. So who cares? Oh my god, this video is a mess. Take me out of the focus. Back to normal. This is what I look like tonight. Don't I look red? No, I messed up my eyes and everything, and I still look really white in the middle. I kind of do in real life too, which freaks me out. Freaks me out. Let's put a lipstick on. I have this new lipstick that. It looks like this. Doesn't that look beautiful? I don't have a lip liner that fits, so I'm just gonna put this pale nude on because uh, I feel like that would be the, the closest I can come. Whoa, this makes my lip look so flaky. This lip color, this lip liner is perfect for me if I want my lips to look smaller. So if I use this, you, doesn't my lips look super small? It looks like I look like a bird. I look like a bird. So find a lip liner that's quite close to your skin tone, usually like a pinky tone because that's what your lips are usually. And you can make your lips look way smaller. And usually you can use not like a lipstick, but like a, a very pigmented or very opaque um, lip gloss in the inner corner and they will just look small perky. I do like them like this though. <laughs> Maybe I should do like a small lip look. I kind of like this look that I'm going for today. Sorry Liz, I'm messing you up. I don't really have anything like this color. This reminds me of the Kylie Jenner lip kit, the Dolce K, the kind of middle um, caramel color. But maybe it's more like the candy cane. Candy cane! I do like this. That's a perfect nude. Oh my god. I am quite happy with this look. I hope you enjoyed watching this extremely long video because I know it is long and some clips might not have been filmed, but yeah, you know what, I'll... right now I, 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 I don't care, I just, I just don't care, I really don't. Sorry, not sorry. I uh, hope you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up if you like them if you want more of it tell me also what videos you want me to do below and I could do my everyday kind of makeup not that I have one but I could do one I could, I could figure one out uh, if you have any special looks if it's like oh I, I want cool tones I'll do a cool tone if you want a warm tone I'll do a warm tone if you want a a smoky look if you want a more rocky look if you want a prom look if you want a bridal look, if you want a Halloween, no, that's 
I'll do that for Halloween, not now. <laughs> Uh, if you want like an Easter look, maybe for Easter, if you want like a wintry look, this is kind of my wintry look, going with the eyes and just a new lip. Uh, liner and new lips have just been me fall and winter basically. Well, fall I did use the red and um, purple melted lipsticks from Too Faced a lot. And now I'm more back to the nude because I like it. I like being natural and everything like that. I hope you liked it. I hope you like the way I do my makeup. I want to watch my videos even more. I'm going to stop talking because this video is already way too long. Uh, just tell me what videos you want. I'll do everything that I can. Uh, yeah. <laughs> See you later. Bye.